Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to put up a garden trellis. Now as you can see these come in different shapes and sizes and you can use them for more than just your creepers. For example you might want to use it as a decorative feature. Here you can see it's put on a face brick wall just to break that continuity of the brick. And in this case we painted it with an off-white, almost beige. Also a nice effect if you get your garden light to shine up the trellis or even shine down the trellis or even a light just shining onto the trellis and in this case I'm using the trellis for the jasmine plant to creep along the partitions Now I'm going to demonstrate how to install a trellis. I'd like to put a second trellis next to the white one. As you can see that that jasmine plant has overgrown that first trellis and I'd like to let it to hop onto the next trellis to fill up my face brick wall. Now to perform this job you'll need a spirit level, a small one is sufficient, a hammer and different types of nails. Now the reason I've got different types of nails here is it depends on your surface that you will be installing your trellis on. Now in my case it's a brick wall so I can use masonry nails but if you find that your wall is exceptionally hard you can use these steel cut nails. Now here is a masonry nail which means you can hammer it into the cement part or the brick. It's much easier to hammer it into the cement section rather than the brick. Now I also have a clout nail as you can see it's got a bigger head and that is very useful in holding the trellis against the wall and I'll demonstrate it to you shortly. Right, so what I do is I put the trellis against the wall and I know that it's straight because this is the face brick line. Now, if you did not have a line to go with, at this point you would now want to use your spirit level. When hanging the trellis on a plastered wall, follow the same procedure except for use your spirit level at every step in this process because now you can't use the brick line as your reference. And in this case, make sure you use strong masonry nails because you will not know if you're going to hammer directly into the brick or the cement. Some nails will go into the cement, but the brick part you'll have to use a strong nail, particularly a thick masonry nail. Now, while the spirit level is here and very useful, you still got to use your own judgment here because sometimes you find these little partitions are not entirely straight. And what I mean by that is that distance there and that distance there is actually uneven. For example, this line here might be straight, but this one is offset probably about four or five degrees. Now you can also use the side as your reference but keeping in mind that sometimes these trellises have warped. Right so that's going to be my corner so I'm just going to mark it off there. Right now I'm going to put the other nail there in the corner and as you can see I'm using the brick line. Now you may have noticed the horizontal strips are flush while the vertical strips are the ones on this side. Remember that you've got two orientations here. You could have installed it in this manner where the horizontal pieces are a little bit outward while the vertical pieces are flush on the wall. That is your choice. Now I don't advise you to hit a nail through these little partitions. And the reason being is if you hit a nail through here you'll find that this wood just splits. If you do want to put a nail through here, rather pre-drill it. Drill a pilot hole and then you can hit your nail through here. And there you can see the nail goes right through. So what you can see now is this is actually just hanging. And that's one of the reasons why I like the clout nail because they've got a bigger head. Now you don't have to use that nail if you haven't got one. You can just use these masonry nails, actually much stronger. Now you're definitely going to need a nail at the bottom here. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now if you want to, you can remove this trellis while you hit this nail in because if I miss the nail and I hit the trellis, I'll probably smash the wood. Now that nail fastens the trellis down. Now I'm going to put one more nail just midway. Right, there you can see the trellis installed next to the white one and I've threaded the creepers through the windows of the trellis and now that plant will grow all on that trellis. There you see the top right nail, the top left nail and there's the middle nail and as you can see I didn't do a very good job here but this does happen and if it happens to you you can just pull the nail out and do it again or if the nail is still offering support all I did is I just bent the nail onto the trellis. 
see the white trellis on the left has the bougainvillea growing through it and then behind the jasmine are actually two trellises and I'm going to now install a third one. Since the trellis is going to be carrying the weight of the plant, I try and always put the nail underneath the horizontal. Right, so there you can see the top two nails, the nail midway, and then just an additional supporting nail at the bottom to also keep it flush on the wall. Right now I've fed through the creepers to populate this new trellis. If you specifically want your nails to go through the wood and you don't want to nail it next to it, then what you can do is just drill a pilot hole. Right, I'm not going to demonstrate how to drill the pilot hole. Select a suitable spot. You can choose the corner. Just remember that there are some staples going through there. So if you don't want to choose the corner, you could choose just next to it. But in this case, I'm just going to choose the corner. And there you can see the nail goes right through. Sometimes you might find the trellis is straight, but the vertical line between the bricks is not straight. So you might have to do a compromise. Otherwise, you'll find these vertical lines don't match with the trellis vertical line. Right, what I do is I prefer to hit these into the cement. And I don't hit it all the way because often a trellis is warped or the wall is not completely straight. So now I go down to the bottom of the trellis to hit those nails in. Now, unfortunately, this does happen. As you can see, the head of the nail has actually broken off. Right, when hitting in these nails, I don't know if you can see, there's actually a gap between the nail and the trellis. The reason being is if you hit this nail in too hard, you'll split the wood. Right, so there's the installed trellis using the pilot hole system. Right, so there's a face brick wall without the trellis. And then I've just put one there just to show you, but you might want to paint it a decorative color. Right over here, you can see the trellis is getting painted with a primer, a white primer. And then you can cover it with any color of your choice. There you can see how effective that trellis is on the wall. There you can see the jasmine growing on top of the trellis. Now, if you're worried about the trellis falling down, you need not worry about it. The nails hold the trellis in place, and it is actually quite difficult to get the trellis off the wall once you've put a few nails in there. If you wanted to do a more elaborate job, you could use plugs, screws, and a drill, but I don't think it's necessary. Even the pilot hole method is unnecessary. Just the nails in the wall works fine, and that's easy and quick. Thanks for watching.